Hello friends, welcome to BICRadings.com. My name is Sumit and uh, through this video I will be going to explain you how can we install Docker on Ubuntu operating system. So I'm going to set up Docker on Ubuntu 6.04. So first let us understand what Docker is. So Docker is an open source program that enables a Linux application and its dependencies to be packaged as a container. So basically Docker is a container technology and the idea was that we'll build technology and package everything in box. So we put everything into box and then we sh ship the box or we send the box and where that box will be going we don't know and how it is going we don't know but we have packaged everything which will be required uh, so being a developer uh, as a developer we package everything into a box which will be needed to run the software successfully on client machine or on users machine so we have got dockers and within dockers we'll be going to create containers and then we used to create images or files onto that so that we'll see We'll be going to see later on but first of all let's see how to set up docker on an ubuntu operating system so i'm going to use the very easiest method to set up docker on ubuntu so let's begin the installation so let me move out from this presentation part and then i'll switch to my vm and because i have installed Linux on my VM on my virtual machine and I'm going to set up docker into same so I'm using this docs.docker.com so this will have all the installation or the commands which is required for setting up uh, docker on an Ubuntu operating system so let's begin the installation so I open terminal first of all I launch my terminal so let me launch the terminal I make it full screen and I'm going to launch terminal first of all so I launch this terminal in this terminal the very first command I will be going to do is I will be going to check the username what's the username will use I will be using so I simply pass here new name minus r so this will give me the username or the current working system So make sure that you need to check your current kernel version, uh, current kernel version of your Linux system and make sure that it would be greater than or it would be uh, higher than above uh, if it is older than 3.1 or if it is, uh, if it is uh, later than 3.1 so it will, you will not be able to install will not be able to set up docker on your ubuntu operating system so that's the minimum requirement or i can say that the, that's the prerequisites so docker requires a 64-bit installation of your ubuntu version and the kernel must be 3.10 at minimum so that's the uh, lowest kernel version so in my case i'm using i'm working on 4.40 it means so uh, I can set up Ubuntu, I can set up Docker on my operating system. Now the next command is, I will be going to pass a command to get the latest update. So sudo apt get update. Why I am using sudo command here, if I do not use sudo command and if I simply pass a command here, apt get update. See, I got an error message. Okay, that is required because not for this. That's apt get update. So apt get update. And see, I'm getting an error message that it the the files has been logged because I'm not a super user or I don't have permissions for setting up updates and all. So it is always mandatory. So whenever you are trying to update or trying to modify some system files or perform some modifications or system files, so you need to add sudo in front of every command and when you pass sudo it will ask your uh, super user password so my super user password is BISP I provide that password and you can see 
all the updates which are required for the current installation uh, because uh, so that will automatically download it and install and the installation will be done it may take some time and once all the installation done it will get back to the initial state and I again uh, one more command I pass here that is to check the certificate that is to install the certificate for installation so I simply write a certificate I simply run it and it says the, the CS certificate is already the newest version because I have already done that earlier so that's why I'm getting this option in your case if you are not with the newest version the latest version it will automatically update it, it will automatically get the newest version next we need to add the GPG key for the official docker repository of the system so basically this GPG key is to add for a new key for the official docker repository so I'm going to add I, I simply copy this and paste this so that's a key and I pass this command to the paste I'm going to I'm going to add this key and this key has been added successfully and next would be we need to execute uh, this command so either we can add this command into the source list and either we can add this or we can directly execute this command so i would like to i'm going to execute this command but we need to check we need to make sure that we are executing the correct command because uh, i'm working for this i uh, means i'm working on linux 6.04 so that's why i will go with this particular command Rapo and Ubuntu because 6.04 is, is, is for zillion main so that's why I'm going to execute this command so I simply paste it and so that should be db https apd dot docker projects dot org slash Rapo Ubuntu genial main because that was the version that was the Ubuntu version name So again, I need to run sudo here. now just in case if you get this error message because db is not a command so we need to customize the uh, we need to customize the etc slash app dot slash source list dot d and within this we have docker dot list file so we need to customize that file and to customize that file uh, i'll open that file we'll get to that file and then we'll then we'll be going to customize it in that file i'm going to add this particular command which is required for 16.04 that is for genial main and i'm going to add this particular line over there so you can see i have opened that file by passing a command and uh, then i add that particular command over here i add this i pass this dab http and ubuntu genial main i pass i paste it over here and save it and for save it escape and qw and save it. how uh, we can open this file with docker.list file and we add that particular command so i've add that command and finally i'm going to again get the update so again i pass a command here sudo dot sudo apt get update so i again execute that command sudo apt get update and so that's pretty simple you have to simply uh, pass all the commands in your command line in an 
in a sequential order and uh, finally it will in, it will install docker at the end so we'll see that and it will be doing installation part so once the installation is done if you want to remove the old wrap if it is exist so we can use this command sudo apt get perg lxc docker so in this case it's a fresh installation so i'm not using this particular command and then uh, I'm, I'm going to verify that apt is pulling from the right repository so for this i copy this command i pass this apt cache policy and docker engine so it has been installed the candidate is this one and version table these are the uh, packages from where we will be getting uh, the current repository so we need to make sure that we have the current list of the repository so this command will help us now these are the prerequisites on ubuntu version so we have already get the updated and after this we'll be going to install the docker again so again i pass the command for updation So updation is going on and it will download as per the according to the package and then I will be going to pass this command to install the recommended package. So I copy this and paste this command and pass it. So the package has been installed and it says it's already the newest version and we do not need to upgrade it. There is no need to upgrade anything so finally we will be going to move on to the step where we will be going to set up docker on our op, uh, on this ubuntu operating system now if you look at here there are various options there are this is for ubuntu the command this is for ubuntu 12.04 and uh, so that's for 12.04 but i'm not going to use that i'm going to use for i'm going to go for install directly move and here we have already done update we can again pass a command to get update if it is required because we uh, just now we executed a command so it will quickly get all the updates related with the current repositories and all if it is required so it will download all the updates and install uh, install at the required positions and finally i'm going to install docker so to install docker the command is sudo apt get install docker engine docker install docker and it will be down it will be start downloading so as you can see here i'm getting a message here that the docker engine is already the newest version because i have already installed that so i'm getting the uh, i'm getting this message so it's already new one and now finally i need to start the docker service so first of all i have simple pass a command docker and uh, when i pass command and it whenever if, if if you are getting these kind of options it means the docker has been successfully installed and i want to check the docker version so docker and version so i got the version so version is 1.12.1 and the build is to start the docker service i pass command sudo systemctl start T-R-T start and docker so the docker service has been started and now finally i want to test the docker service i want to test whether the docker service is running uh, the docker is working perfectly fine or not so i also pass a new command sudo docker and uh, run hello world so basically hello world is a file in container uh, it's an image in container so i write hello world and when i execute it you see i got a message hello from docker so that's the output which i which we are getting from this hello world container so if i want to list all the containers so i can pass a command sudo docker ps and uh, we have got the container id image port and all and to list all the containers uh, to list all the containers both running and non-running containers so i pass command sudo docker ps minus 
you can see uh, we have got the and that's the hello world container which we have executed just now which we have run just now here by using this command so that's how we can run we can set up docker on an ubuntu operating system and how we can perform the configuration for it so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us to on www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos if you have any queries you can write us keep watching have a nice day goodbye